Anant and you are watching my YouTube channel Learning with Guzaran. So today our topic is about consumption function. What is a consumption function? Uh, consumption is a part of income and uh, uh, we know discuss about uh, consumption function. Listen, consumption function is equal important as intermediate economic classes, graduation economics classes and master's economics classes. So what is a consumption function? Consumption is a function of income and there is a positive relationship. If income increases, then consumption is also increases. And if income decreases, then consumption is also decreases. So we can say that there is a positive relationship between income and consumption. Suppose if income increases, then consumption is also increases. And if income decreases, then consumption is also decreases. So, we can they say that there is positive relationship between income and consumption. So, there are two components of a consumption function. One is average propensity to consume. Average propensity, propensity to consume. And second is marginal propensity to consume marginal marg, marginal propensity to consume what is average propensity to consume so first we discuss about average propensity to consume Average propensity to consume is denoted as APC and the definition of average propensity to consume is the ratio between consumption and income is called average propensity to consume. The ratio between consumption and income is called average propensity to consume. Suppose that our income is equal to $1,000. Income is equal to $1,000 and consumption is equal to $700. So, what is average propensity to consume? Consumption is equal to $700 and income is equal to $1,000. So, this is equal to 0 0.7. So, this is average propensity to consume. And now we found uh, marginal propensity to consume. What is marginal propensity to consume? Marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume. It is denoted as MPC. The definition of marginal propensity to consume is change in consumption due to change in income is called marginal propensity to consume. Change in consumption due to change in income is called marginal propensity to consume. The formula of marginal propensity to consume is delta C over delta Y. Delta C change in consumption. Delta Y change in income. Suppose that our income is equal to $1,000 and consu consumption is equal to $700. Now, our income increase $1,500 from $1,000 to $1,500. Income is equal to $1,500. So, what is the change in income? First, our income is equal to $1,000 and now our income is equal to $1,500. So the change in income is called, what is the change in income? So $1,500, $1,000, the difference is $500. And what is change in consumption? First, when income is equal to $1,000, then consumption is equal to $700. And now our income increase $1,500 and consumption is equal to $1,000. So what is the change between consumption? $700 and $1,000. So delta C is equal to $300.
so now we put put the values of delta c and delta y in formula delta c is equal to 300 dollar and delta y is equal to 500 dollar so marginal capacity to consume is equal to 300 dollar over 500 dollar is equal to 0.6 it is be noted that npc always lies between 0 to 1 NPC always lies between 0 to 1. The value of NPC always lies between 0 to 1. So I think uh, you understand the topic. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.